So today I'm gonna to show you my three ingredient low carb keto chicken tenders. Super easy, there's one surprising ingredient, pork rinds, or I think uh, you're supposed to call them chicharrones. Hey. <laughs> so these are gonna be in place of the breadcrumbs or the carbohydrate that would typically uh, coat your chicken tenders. This is gonna keep them low carb. So we're gonna throw these little fried piggies into the food processor. So for about a pound of chicken tenders, eight to 10 chicken tenders, you're gonna wanna get a four to five ounce bag of chicharrones. I just like to say it. I'm probably saying it wrong and I'm gonna get corrected, but they're pork rinds, fried pig skins. Throw them into the food processor and you're gonna blend these until they resemble breadcrumbs. Here we go, it's gonna be noisy for a second. Okay, as you can see, these look like breadcrumbs. I'm gonna put them into one bowl. And then in my other bowl, I have a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. Alternatively, you could use ranch dressing or you could use blue cheese or whatever type of low carb marinade you want. I like to use oil because it really crisps up the tenders. And this is it, you just grab a chicken tender, you roll it, dip it into the oil, and then you're going to coat it in these chicharrones <laughs> into the pork rinds. You could also spice this up if you want it and put some chili powder and paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, but I'm keeping this super simple. They're pretty rich and fatty anyway, they give off a good flavor. Um, the ranch dressing, if you do put the chicken tenders in ranch dressing, that is a nice little touch. So I have my oven set to 415 degrees, and I'm gonna bake these for uh, 12 to 15 minutes, turning them halfway through the cook time. Um, and then they'll be done when um, they register to 165 degrees, or you can always just cut into the center one and make sure they're not pink anymore. Also, and I put this in the recipe notes, these are great to make in bulk for meal prep. And what you would do is freeze them at this point. So you would layer all of your uh, chicken tenders on the pan like you're about to put them in the oven. But instead of putting them in the oven, stick them in the freezer for a few hours, let them freeze up, and then throw them all in a Ziploc. And then when you want some low carb chicken tenders, you just take them out as many as you want, one, five, two, throw them in the oven. You don't have to defrost them and they cook up just the same. So this is a good uh, meal prep recipe. I made these three times last week for three separate low-carb keto clients, and they love their chicharrones, chicken tenders. Anyway, into the oven they're gonna go. I will come back and show you the final product. All right, these keto chicken tenders are out of the oven. I'm gonna plate them and I'll cut into them and show you how juicy they are. Serve them with a little ketchup or some buffalo sauce, that would be really good. Look at that. They're still piping hot. You can see how juicy they are though. There you go. Now you can sit down, have chicken tenders with your kids and not feel guilty about it. Chicharrones!